Welcome back to Booty and the Beast podcast. I'm Halas Ariel. I'm Sammy Sam. Episode six. Episode, <laughs> episode six. I'm going with that one. <laughs> I think. Yo, I'm just gonna introduce our guest right off the bat. This is a Grammy nominated, the one and only BJ, the Chicago Kid, my Woo-hoo. brother from another mother. What's popping? What's popping? So, yo. First of all, stressful last week. Not stressful last week. Weird ass week. Weird ass week. I'm gonna I'm jump to it because you were at the Grammys on Sunday, mm-hmm. and obviously you were nominated and everything. Uh, how was the How was the, the the feeling over there on the red carpet? Everything we was there for really took the back seat to the main feeling that the world felt. Um, it was weird as fuck. It's still yo, it was it's weird as fuck weird. being there. Um, Every like even being nominated, I was honored to be there for what I was there for. But man, bro, it was just too real and unreal at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you cry? Yeah, I definitely cried a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is. I like, think if you it, man to really understand what we lost, you 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 probably shed a few tears too. I got like all nieces too, bro. So it's like mm-hmm. man, even though his daughter was with him, bro, that was like, dude, like I'm. My nieces are at the age where I'm able to like really understand all of them individually. You know what I'm saying? Their own person. Like what what she eat, what she don't eat, what yeah. she like, <laughs> what link all them together. Like I know them personally. So like to destroy that beautiful, even that feeling that I get, even like deeper in that knowledge of my family's like, do I go ham, man? Like singing would not singing would matter, labels would matter, shows would matter. So it's I can only imagine um the feeling that the families are going through all of it. Yeah. Definitely. Well, it, it, yeah. You, what's crazy, I don't know if you know, but um, it hit a lot in Whittier because um, a lot of the families, the people that were on the plane, mm-hmm. uh, they were coaches and teachers, or two of, two of the families, they were coaches and teachers at uh, La Serna, at my niece's school. Oh, wow. no way. In Whittier. I didn't know so that. that. So that it was affected with the people over there. Mm-hmm. So a lot of my friends um, that are they're over there, their kids go to... Um, they play football and and softball over there. Like they're Dang. like devastated by it too. So it's like yo, like so many people are devastated by it because they're um, not only Kobe and Gigi, but all the people were known like around Southern yeah. California too, and were affiliated in some way somehow. Um, I know I posted I posted some shit like uh, a lot of people where like I was tripping out. I felt so weird because I've been crying. <laughs> I'm a grown, Same. I'm a grown ass man crying over somebody that I'd never met. But you feel like he's a part of your family, though. I know I do, bro. Like, absolutely. I think it's it's some about too, like seeing somebody that's vulnerable enough to show us their lives. They fail in front of us. They make mistakes in front of us. Mm-hmm. We scold them for it. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. forgive them. Yeah, they yeah. come back. The relationship is even more beautiful. And this man, like we seen him not have championships. We seen him yearn for. It. We seen him lose in certain rounds, and then we seen him come back and kill the world <laughs> with Shaq and without him. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean to see somebody in their most vulnerable moment when they're down, and to see him in their most champion moment, and you've you've been able to watch every second of it. I think um, many people wouldn't sign up for that. Definitely. Like, people wouldn't... Man, I wouldn't want you to see me in my darkest moments sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people just not well enough to see that. And I think to um, rise above it, knowing that that's there, waiting for him every time he go outside of his house. Yeah. Anytime he try to do anything regular that a normal person Damn. tries to do. Like, when I really think of, of it like that, I mean, man, dude, I, I honor that man. Uh, I mean, I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. Yeah. So, to love Mike and you from Chicago, is to love Kobe. Obviously, Chicago. Yeah, so you know and what to mean? love Kobe is to love Mike. So it's not about the debate. I've I've never really got the only thing that I've said about the debate was because Mike was born first. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like yeah, literally, yeah, like yeah. Mike was born first. But um, beyond that, I think um, Kobe Bryant is like one of the greatest basketball players ever, and that's from Definitely. somebody from Chicago that really loves basketball. I love Michael. Michael Jordan is one of my favorite players ever. But to understand that um. Like that, the youth and your younger siblings are supposed to be better than you. Yeah, he's supposed to naturally be better. He's supposed to strive to be. He's supposed to mm-hmm. see himself being better than Jordan. He's that's natural. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't like that. And I'm from Chicago, but I'm gonna just tell the truth. Yeah, like if I don't if I don't see myself trying to be better than my brothers or trying to just like um learn from their mistakes and, speaking mm-hmm. of and their brothers, champion moments. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm not doing my job, and, and, and my, my youngest oh, gonna learn from mine, and that's how it gets better. And, and your better. brothers are. 
<laughs> high up, you know. What I'm uh, yeah, yeah. Respect to my brothers, man. Shout out to Aaron and Scooter. Yeah, yeah. Because yes, I, you know, I don't know if you know, but his brothers also there's writers, writers. producers, yeah. he's a drummer. It's all in the blood, like that. Yeah, it's all in the blood. So you know what I mean, like yo, Scooter or, or BJ, um, one of my good good friends. Speak on um, how it was in Chicago because I remember when you first came to LA and we became friends. Yeah, you were like, "Yo, like this is shout out to Nissan." <laughs> yeah, my brother Nissan. Yeah, because it was weird um, being able to like just hang out with Mexican with a Mexican. Mm-hmm. Cat. <laughs> yeah, I, and, and Chicago. Um, <laughs> Chicago is very um, versatile in the type of. Um, races that live in the city and the different cultures and different ethnicities that live within the Chicago perimeter. But um, it's very segregated okay. at the same time. Like, and you're um, South Side. Yeah, I'm from the South Side of Chicago. Like 92nd and Vincennes to be exact. So I'm not from the Burbs. <laughs> I'm, not from the, I'm not from Dalton saying I'm from Chicago. No offense to those that do, but y'all just know y'all lying. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, um, just, just growing up there, man, it was like like any other city man you can't you can't come outside unless you actually you, you gotta have your fights you gotta have your disagreements then you find your friends y'all find y'all amazing moments it's just like growing up in any other neighborhood but most of all like chicago was just like the type of place where i feel like if you survive there you can survive anywhere that's why i really wasn't afraid to come to la um i knew longer honestly in any hood bro if you mind your business and be transparent you a one yeah. everybody pretty much that's hanging around on the block or hanging out in front of a liquor store whatever the case may be they just want to make sure you ain't the op they want to make sure you ain't the enemy and you ain't got nothing to hide <laughs> so me personally my thing was i walk to the store i see him outside i say what's up by the time they speaking back i'm walking in the store i'm not saying i'm <laughs> yeah. not what i'm sitting here for your reply for long as y'all see i say what's up and i acknowledge y'all mm-hmm. we should be a one if you got a problem when i come out then we handle it the way they handle it but I mean, for the most part, L.A. has been good to me, man. But being from Chicago, man, I, I wouldn't trade it for none in the world. Yes, sir. Now, I remember when you got here. Oh, we did. Like, we, we were talking. See, me and BJ, we go back. We used to have some good old times. What's from McCarley when you was uh you Hooping, seen, going yeah, to Vegas. Hooping. Plenty, man, we got Rosaritos. Oh, man. Dog, remember Rosarito? First time he ever, I've ever been to Mexico was with this guy right here. Um, you chose the wrong person. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Let me tell you the story. Tell the story. <laughs> Yo, it's a it's a lot of stories within this one night, but one particular story, we went to, what, about four different spots within that yeah, one Yeah, we, were at, uh, we went to uh, Papa's and Papa's Beer on and this beers, one. Yeah. But the way the block was back then, I'm not sure how it is now. This was years ago. I think it's the same, then, to be honest. <laughs> I hope so, so they can really picture what I'm saying. So it was almost like... um. It was a hatchback bagging up into the driveway of a club. Okay. So it's this guy sitting in a lazy boy. <laughs> what? In the back with of a white t-shirt. In the, in the back of a truck. Like, yeah. like a, a bald like head, a bald head, shaved, shaved Mexican, sitting with a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and he's sitting in a lazy boy in the back of the chair, and everybody's kissing his ring on his hand. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the most gangster so shit. I probably, what is he, he was probably one of the one of the um, one of the oh, kingpins. Oh, One of the kingpins of the oh. drug dealers in. In okay, Mexico, okay, okay. Yo, so. and I've never seen like nobody salute nobody on some street shit like that. Like I've seen many different ways of saluting somebody on some street shit, but that was like seeing another culture's way of doing something that I understand what they're doing without somebody telling me. But it still kind of blew me away. <laughs> but knowing knowing what I'm in the presence of, where I am, that I needed my passport, and I had to hold on to this passport while I'm drunk. <laughs> with these guys we, we, in, we in clubs that you gotta like squeeze your shoulders in and get through like it was <laughs> like it probably was, a, was it a it was it a holiday or something we went for a special I think weekend it was. or something yeah, yeah I think it because was. it was extra cracking it wasn't just regular cracking yeah. it was had all type of seasoning and on top and everything it was it was <laughs> yeah. it was on yeah but it, it was amazing visit man I had a ball man I had lots some of my funnest times Dude, but, but but the no talk about the um rolling the blunt in the remember you had the fucking yo you was rolling he was rolling a blunt in there Mind you, he's the only black dude in the club. In Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> man, I'm old school. I'm mad. I'm bad about it. I'm right about it. <laughs> yeah. He's rolling the blunt. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes the federales. Ooh. Like, the dudes that fucking, he, 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 he the, the, quick with it, though, dropped it on the floor. And like, <laughs> what you would call it? And then they came and got him and. What you gonna call it? They're like, no. They're like, where's it at? What? Know, where's like, what? Yeah. At? I don't got nothing else on. Paid it off. They were still gonna yeah. take it. I think we had to give them like three hundred. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> One of my Mexican homies had to come and rescue me for show <laughs> because uh, I knew no Spanish, still don't. <laughs> so they had to come and um, get your boy out the jizzam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got you in Chicago though. If you ever in the jizzam, call your boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That was, that was good time. Good time. Um. 
then you had your first show, your first show in LA. Yeah. I met your pops. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to your pops, man. Yeah, like that was that was like yours too, man. Yeah, yeah. both of them. They're, yo, it was great. Let me tell Yours you, just too. it's crazy. You you bring up our pops. His pops was my guy. My pops was his guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I tell you a story on my first show in LA. My mom and dad came to the show, and uh, actually my whole family almost came. Almost yeah. my whole family came. And um, while we was getting ready for the show, my pops had got there. He wanted to get loose, have a drink, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Feel the vibe of the uh, place. So um, he was like, I'm about to go down and have a drink. Man, all right. I'm like, all right, cool. Man, we get dressed. Be going over the show, making sure everybody's straight, you know, making sure the stage stuff is tight for the performance. Uh, my pops come back, I don't know what, 15, 20 minutes later, <laughs> him and Sam, arm to neck, neck and arm, <laughs> and my pops come back a little bit more tipsy than he did when he left. Oh, and he's like, man, who is this, man? This is my partner right here. <laughs> Yo, my pops, old school player, Apple hat, you know what I'm saying, real old school player. He's like, man, this is my partner right here. I was like, man, it's crazy. Pops, you don't even know, this is like my Mexican brother here. Like, <laughs> yeah. like this is my brother here. Yeah. And, um, it was crazy, man. His pops received me the same way. Like anytime his pops see me, he hugged my neck off. He Aww. understood what it was. So it was and my like, dad, my dad used to make him sing all the time. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What you singing? Yo, what you and doing? his pop, his pops was hilarious. His pops knew he was a comedian, man. Had jokes up the yang and always messed with Sam, man. It was it was just like it was my family away from my family that I never had at home. Um, I was the first, like I'm the youngest of three boys. Mom and dad in the house. I was the first one to move out of state, out of town. So when I came here, um. My family like a real loving family. One person show up and they cooking, everybody gonna show up before the end of the night. So me just having that type of love and leaving that type of love, I needed some type of love yeah. here from a real family that did it without me before me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so shout out to Sam, shout out to Nissan, them, uh, Eric and Tina, Mary Mary, man, they family kept Man, they kept me eating spaghettis <laughs> and the whole nines. Uh Man, Lorenz family from 1500. Um, rest in peace to his mom too, man. I would, I would be at their uh, crib every Sunday eating dinner. My mom did the same thing. So I just really kind of wanted to find people that was just like my family in the city. I really, really knew nobody. You know what I'm saying? I maybe knew less than seven people in L.A. when I first moved here. But yet and still, this was like the place <laughs> where um, I had a choice between L.A. and New York. But um, New York wasn't like the type of place where I could learn as fast as I knew L.A., but the like the, the 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 stone that like like made everything fall over was I knew more people even within that seven people I knew more people here musically yeah. than I knew there mm. to help me advance on what I wanted to do so that's actually a little shout out to anybody that's actually confused on something um, it's one factor that would lessen and count out the other one to help you find your decision for whatever you're trying to do that's really important to you um, sometimes you don't know what to do sometimes to this day I still don't know what to do but I got a step manual like you know what i'm saying i do the first step and that's gonna lead you to the next step and somehow you get yourself back on track but to sit at home and do nothing hmm. you yeah. ain't never started never started yeah. straight up what's the you know what i'm saying i know you're used to singing with everybody I, I saw you post um um usher singing your song yeah, yeah, yeah. yo that was, like a, that was like a that was like a that was like a like a dope moment for you yeah that's 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 like big bro right there man um I was a fan of his music long before I met him. I got a chance to sing background with him, work with him. Um, man, I still have a relationship with him now. Man, that's, that's my dog. Yeah, that was. I, I thought that was like so dope because obviously I remember you used to sing the background with them. Yeah, man. Anybody that you, um, <laughs> anybody that you admire, if you see them like you know rock, it, it could be something that you, that you just like. It don't even got to be something you made or something you did or your yeah. product. But just to know that y'all like the same thing is just like a little cool thing, man. <laughs> so it made it that time ten yeah. for me. Yeah, man, that was dope. So even deeper, how about how did you feel when Barack Obama, when he, especially when he was president, oh, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like <laughs> he picked your songs, like, and and not only he picked your songs, but you got to sing the national anthem. Yeah, yeah. For what, what was it? Was the national anthem for uh, his farewell speech in Chicago, in my hometown, Chicago? That's so dope. Yeah, I was lit. Yeah, that was the day I got I'm to jealous. meet him. <laughs> that was the day I got to meet him. Yo, you ain't met the coolest person in the world till you met him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Barack Obama is the coolest He's that, like, he looked like he got that cool. Bro, you know, he like, is, man. That cool swag. He is, he, is, he is the man, man. He is the man. And for me to even make the list of what he listened to or what his wife listened to as well when she worked out, all of that is just like cool points. It's like they auntie and uncle now, man. Ain't no... <laughs> Ain't no first lady, and all respect that goes first. But it's like it's more family now, man. I appreciate them for even um, you know, every artist, bro. We like we just want to be a part of y'all memories, man. In some kind of way, birthday in the car, the funniest joke, <laughs> um, just a memory in your life, and for um, them to have memories to my music 
and them say and them, right. them say it to me, it get, it gives me the same type of memory. I remember when I was a part of. Yeah. So it kind of it's like you know it's a it's a, it's a double win, man. I appreciate it. They like come on, man. They like our royal family as as black people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think I'm about sure. that uh, remark? Um, uh, LeBron just posted the other day uh, with Bill Clinton. He said, he said uh, the, uh, what he the first black, the first black president." <laughs> hey, I, I would say, man, that's just how you know it's really him on his Instagram. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that's my all, bro. That's my dog, man. And we all knew. We what all he like meant. Bill. We all knew what he yeah, meant. Yeah, we know what he meant. We like Bill too. That's why I said that's how you know it's just really him. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Anybody else who try to be politically correct, it'll be dead. On. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, just how sure. you know it's authentically him. That's it. Because yeah, good because Bill was doing everything. You know what I'm saying? We <laughs> shout out to Brian, Brian, man. Um, man, bro, I know you, man. Wow, bro. Prayers to you and your family too, bro. I know it's difficult because, man, to um to have a night like that before that and, what and to know and he said like, he talked to him that morning. I, I know. I can only imagine because anybody that know like people like them, man, they're real friends. They don't let the media deter what their real relationship is. Yeah, and um. I think it's just really amazing that they had that type of brother relationship where um, he could be closer to him, know things we don't know, understand things we would never know. You know what I'm saying? But to 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 know somebody like that and to lose him, I think it's a really hurtful feeling as well. So, like, man, I, I pray for everybody that was, like, really close to him, man, because, bro, this this, this shocked the world, bro. And like, it, it I was, still, every day I still wake up and I'm like, wow, this is really true. Same. I, I, I just came from Staples Center. Yeah. So you know, yeah, what I'm saying? it's like, wild over there. Like yeah. I, um, we were there, and this dude just started uh, chanting Kobe. That's what they do. And Yo, I left out the Grammys, and I left out the door. They was chanting it so loud, it almost brought me to tears. Cause I, I couldn't because it was like I was in there and music, 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 yeah. friends, friends, friends. You walk back out, and that reality just smacks you Hit right you in the again. face with a fucking Mack truck. It was like, oh, it almost brought me to tears. No, so I, I couldn't scream his name. I couldn't. I I tried, and I just stopped because I just started crying. I was like, I. But Bro, it just wasn't it's, it's really real man it's it's like that's la's michael jordan you know what i'm saying that's somebody that honestly bro like i, I remember what you said about about your family give you all those moments but like on, at your lowest sometimes man that gives you inspiration too man exactly because you see you see you watching the game you see they down 10 and you see them get to eight and you see them get to you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you see you see somebody you see the underdog become the dog yeah mm -hmm. and then oh the man it's such a beautiful feeling when you have somebody like that that represents you mm -hmm. where you from man it means so much i think michael jordan's confidence sprinkles on all chicagoans just like i'm sure kobe bryant does the same for y'all so like just as a huge fan of of my city, I can understand what this loss is to y'all. If we would have had the same type of loss, it's I, like it's really it's it's unbelievable. But the the crazy part is, like, he was so dope. Like the world loved him. Almost tried to work, love him a smidge that y'all really understand him and that y'all have him for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like if you get to know my mom, that means you get to if what you love of her is like a small <laughs> increment of what I love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So I look at it like that, man. Like. L.A. has something special, but but it will forever like remain for Los Angeles and his hometown, Philadelphia. You know it, is, it is, yeah. It's, this a, it's Kobe it, it, is an L.A. Crazy. thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I think that's what that's where that's what'll make people smile at the end of the day after the tears. It's like his his L.A. pride was real, bro. He didn't go to no other team. He stayed. He yeah. dug it out. Yeah. Even through the hard times, even through his frustrating moments, like man, Kobe is a real G. Like, and I think that's what I love. He handled it with class too, bro. Yeah. Like a lot of people don't talk about that. Kobe, he he was a class act, man. Like Kobe was. He shut up when he shut up. He know how to cut you up. <laughs> I remember that time. I remember that time that Heckler was on him and he looked at me. He said. <laughs> and shut him up <laughs> and shut him up like straight up like he just knew how to get his point across and there's very few people in the world that know how to cut you and not really use a knife you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think also what also kills everybody too is his daughter you know like and, you know this was his his next his next step in life yeah and um, was you know, nurturing her and her yeah kids and, and, and we were dog, we were watching her because you know what I'm saying, like you can wait to see how you, it would, yes, how his gift up. would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dog, it was so it's so crazy. Like every time, like Ball is Live or whatever, one of these uh, they put a new video out yeah. of her. We're all just like, oh shit, dude, that's a Kobe move. Dog, like look at she already got it down. Like it yeah. was just so. She hit one girl with the sham guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, just bro. saw a clip on um, Facebook 
that he did an interview with, I think she was a Jimmy. sports reporter. Yeah. And she, he said, like, oh, my daughter's way better at her age than I was oh, yeah, at yeah. her age. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Oh, he's uh, very proud of his family, man. And uh, somebody told him, uh, oh, that was Jimmy Kimmel one. They said, uh, they asked, or he said that somebody told him, like, oh, when are you guys going to have a boy? And he's like, uh, go so they could carry on your, um, mm-hmm, your legacy. Your and she she looked at him. She was like, I got, I got this. this. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got this. Like, yo, uh, or he even spoke about being a, a girl dad. Yeah. And he was like, I don't, you know, I don't really need a boy. Like, I got my girls. And like, I, he's like, if I could get, if I could get four more girls, I'd get four more mm-hmm. girls. Hey, you know, I just thought about too. Um, I know I'm far away from the mic. My bad. Um, the type of discipline he has is the is the type of discipline we all wish we could have. Oh yeah, without a doubt. From from <laughs> like I I know I know I wish I had it, and I'm getting better and trying to get better in life. But I think his. His regiment to his success was so down packed. It may it makes you jealous a little bit. Like, man, I I, I gotta try it a little bit. I gotta push harder <laughs> what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always another level. And I think watching him and really being a fan of how he progressed, you become a fan of that same type of Definitely. behavior and, and progression. And it, it's just crazy, man. Um, his class, his discipline. Like a lot of people just talk about the court, man. But just who he was was as a man. I think it's incredible. Like, a lot of men on this block right now probably messed up in their homes before, whatever the case may be. Like, to even to do a press conference at a time like that, man, you're vulnerable, you open, man. It takes a lot, bro. It takes a lot to say, Mama, I broke that vase. Yeah. Because you know she going to fuck you up. (laughs) That's her favorite vase and all this dirt on the floor and all these leaves everywhere. It's, It's a mess. It's hard to admit to a mess yeah. publicly. And f- man, you you just got to understand, man, the type of man that he was, man. And I respect him. Then he cleaned him. up that mess. And that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. As a man, I respect honoring up being a man. Yeah. Because, you know, it, it's, it's just a part of what we go through. And then after that, kick ass so much, he make you forget all about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't ask for a better example of what life really is. It's imperfect, but you make the best of it. Like yeah. just straight up, like I think he 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 wasn't afraid to give us a little glimpse of his life and his imperfections and his perfections, and I think that's what's dope because I definitely man I man I wouldn't want y'all to know about my craziest moments. <laughs> it's, me, it's meant for whoever was there. You know what I'm saying? That's so he was a G man. That's what I'm saying. Oh, off the court, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Incredible guy. Absolutely. I'm I'm over here thinking I'm thinking know, of shit you. like I'm just like <laughs> lost like just thinking of all the all the things that we've went through with him, you know what I'm saying like yo like I said like I feel like that we lost a brother you know what I mean like because we were with him I, I <laughs> we were wasn't... with him during all his bullshit through you know what I'm saying through all of his time. great shit yeah, I'm not even like a basketball fan and that like when I heard I was like no like that can't no like yeah. please let this be no it's crazy we all we all felt that way I met him one time yo I met him um. At an award show, I, I was singing for an artist at the time, and um, he was there to present an award. This is like when I first moved to LA. I had braids and everything, and um, one of my homies from Chicago was like, "Yo, if you ever meet Kobe, mention my name to him and see what happens." <laughs> I was like, "Nigga, you don't know Kobe. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> out of here, man. This nigga always, he always way he knows somebody, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one of those and dudes. We all laughed and he laughed with us." But when I met him, I showed him brought his name. I was like, yo, you know such and such? He was like, how you know him? Yeah. Yo, that's funny. That's funny. Messed me up. We talked about Duh. five minutes about him and how we know him and how good of a person he was. And I asked him for a picture. And that was the time you had the the little uh, shink, 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 the little paper <laughs> cover camera. What oh, yeah, the yeah, disposables. Yeah. Disposable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had the disposable joint. And the picture came out. Well, I'm going to post it in a few days when I actually get the right words to say it. And when you said that about LeBron, I feel like he was forced to, to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I don't think it, you don't have to do that, but social media is a beast of its own these days, and mm-hmm. then pressure is weird. But um, yeah, I, I met him before, man. It was just a really cool moment that I still laugh about. And um, to even connection to that, um, my first time ever going to Laker games and seeing Kobe play was from that person. That person called Kobe and got me tickets. And if you ever like went to a, a Laker game because of a player or something, it tell you the name of the player on the ticket and Kobe's name was always on the, <laughs> you on were the like, envelope. Yeah. yeah. So it was actually really cool because it was a joke and I laughed about him and he still was cool <laughs> enough to get me tickets through the same person I didn't think he knew. So like he really like did me a good justice. Shout out to my homie, man. 
Yeah. Yo, that's funny. First time, that's first few funny. times I ever saw, like maybe th- about three times, man, we saw, and it was during championship moments at, at its peak, man. So just a, such a beautiful time, man. I, I I never forget those moments. Sorry, my phone ring, y'all. Five those eight. yeah, those championship moments were amazing. Did you ever sorry, come? Man. This is my manager. I'm sorry. Yeah, my you. Sh- All right, I'm gonna go do some. While well, he's talking to his manager, don't worry about I'm gonna she, go she, ahead she, and do. She, 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 oh, oh, I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna do some sponsors. <laughs> Yo, shout out to um, Hollow Tips. We got that fire gelatos. We got the best flowers, and then we got these uh, amazing, amazing hollow tip um, smokes. I don't even know how to call that. It smokes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the with the pens, so good. He got pens and P rolls on just, deck. That's yeah, pens and P rolls. Just put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out right to AB Justice, to my lawyers. Yo, if you guys need a lawyer, please hit me up and I will send you right to them. Hopefully you don't need them, but if you do, I got you. Uh, shout out to Shop at Family, Han Wu, my brother. We we'll love y'all. Make sure you guys go and check them out at all the Legends um, shops. And shout out to 448 Clothing. Well, you know, we always got you guys. That should Go check out their um, website. That should, uh, The new shit's about to drop soon. Europe, yeah, we back. I gotta hold. It. I gotta light me a fucking hollow tip gelato. Why you doing that, man? I just want to say congratulations to my brother, and I mean to his co-host as well, because <laughs> Why it's, can't I it's be your sister. <laughs> because you I'm just want to fuck. No, <laughs> not because I'm just I'm a professional singer, so I must know how to professionally speak. Okay, okay. The first time without being corrected, without it offended offended anybody. But now I just want to say congratulations to y'all doing like something else like that is really amazing. Like, and I think um it allows us to like kind of show the other part of us outside of what we do, no matter who's sitting in the middle chair. That's so really cool, and you know, man, no, thank you. I've been trying to get you. It's lit. I've been trying to get you a part of this shit for a long time. Yeah, it's, it's been crazy, been, but you know, but you know, I ain't gonna let you down. Bro. Absolutely, we are gonna make it happen every time. You've been, you've been traveling, you've been doing this. This guy had me sing at his dad's funeral. I, I, I don't sing at funerals, man. Mm, I didn't even sing at my dad's funeral. It is the guy that sings that you love singing before is not the guy that sings at the funeral. It's, it's not the easiest yeah, thing to do. The just, had, the, just the fact brother... that he did sing at my dad's funeral, like. Was to me and my my family, my mom. I told my mom I was having you on today, and she. I was learned like, the song and everything. I didn't even know the song. They sent me the song. Oh. I had to learn everything. But, but you would do anything for certain people in this world, man. Yeah. Like I know that Sam would do the same thing for me, though. If if it, if it was something I need that I know he does, and he know he does, I know I could call him. Mm. He not gonna give me no hassle. I just gotta make sure he free. That's it. <laughs> I know he's I know he's a dad and an amazing dad. I just saw his daughter before we came out here on Facetime. She's you, you're telling her how your day was, and she was like, she was like, uh, <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, so cool. She, but nah, she, man, he was like, yeah, really I was, cool. I was uh, you know, I, I went to get some lunch today, and he said, she's like, huh? I didn't ask all that. <laughs> <laughs> just like her dad just like her dad <laughs> but nah it's, it's really cool man and I, I just think it's it's cool man congratulations to you guys so, thank you appreciate yeah. it we're yeah. trying to just do some something, something different you know me i'm i'm wild i'm crazy mm-hmm. and me i don't too. you don't know her yet but she wild she could just her name ho ass ariel i saw y'all <laughs> i saw y'all promo pics comment. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> the, the jealous? Problem, jealous? <laughs> I had to re- not really. I had to remake. Uh, really, I had to remake that know, Janet Jackson. Not, not, not really. Only because, only because the, the belly, and you know, I wasn't jealous of the belly. <laughs> he but he can't top it. And I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh, you still working out? I ain't gonna try. Um, you still on uh, a other way? Yeah, those in other stairs ways. coming up to this door. <laughs> he has buns of steel. Bill. Bill. <laughs> you you're not on Keenan's workout plan no more? Nah, I'm about to get back on. I still be hooping though. My jump shot still hooping. fire. Mm-hmm. I asked Gabe what happened last time. Dog, we yo, we gonna get to that, man. We I, gonna get to that. I, I Gabe, my brother. I don't want to say it like that, <laughs> but I got him last time. Hey, happy birthday, slow! It's his birthday yes. too. Oh, happy birthday, slow! <laughs> <laughs> yo, but yo, work on your jump shot. I can't believe you let an R and B singer. And that's the whole problem. Fuck Before I sang R and B, I was just a regular hood nigga that loved basketball. So <laughs> this was low key here before the vocals. Y'all met me after, so y'all don't know. So I gotta keep betting y'all until y'all catch up yeah, with the yeah. jig, We've never... and I can, and I can win enough money 
know what I'm saying? I got to keep betting y'all until y'all be like, all right, he really got it. Like See, we've that. never. I got to keep betting we, the Dallas. Me and you have never. We've never shot out with and hooped yet. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't underestimate right. these layers here. I don't. I don't. And, and, I, and I don't because I got homies that's all different shapes and sizes that get down. So, I never do. Yeah. But that's why I accept the challenge when people underestimate me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm from Chicago, bro. We hear that the whole time. If you're the new person around, you're going to get tested from some way, somehow, to see if you really do what you do. <laughs> you guys wait. Hold on. So the funny shit is, you guys was talking shit, and then you guys went and jumped some fences to go find a to go find a fucking a court. Um, yeah, a court. yeah he, he jumped the fence first, but we realized we had to jump it back to get back out. I was like, no, nah, come, come back, come back. So then we called the Uber and went to a whole other court that we knew, and um, we got it on right then and there. You know, Damn. in Chicago, bro, like we get it on and whatever we got on. If the if the the conversation get too spicy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Your mouth get too spicy. We gotta see what's happening. So for fighting basketball, racing down the street, you find two grown dudes racing diamond chains <laughs> flying off. That because we all big kids on the inside. Yeah, yeah. At my show, I say, oh, uh, I want to see this yeah. happen. Call, call him up. So at my I show, I say, it. the inner child should never die. I feel like the inner child is the thing that you let you to have fun. Just mm -hmm. forget about problems. Remind you of your childhood. For ladies, let you let let, let you feel the wind in your hair, or you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying on your nipples, whatever. Your, the, the, <laughs> yeah. And for the guys that you know, whatever, just allow you to have that childish fun as an adult that allow you to forget about all the bills and the crazy problems and things that's going on. I love going that's to my inner child. child all yeah. the time. So I, the I, inner I, child should never die, man. Mm. I think too, man. Um, Vegas is made from a lot of people that inner child has never died. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Mikey, you know live out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to the homies in Vegas, man. <laughs> yeah, when uh, I was man, I, you, you just fucked me up with the whole Vegas. Shit. I started thinking of, I started thinking inner of, uh, I, no, I started thinking of the last time I was in Vegas with him. He had a pool. We, baby mama was pregnant. Yeah. And uh, what's your call? I was on a winning streak. Like, yo, you couldn't catch it. Yo, like, we trying just, to pay for that now baby first, shower. Let me, tell, let me remind y'all a little bit. Like, when we in Vegas together, because Sam like to gamble and shoot craps. I like to shoot craps. This is my gambling partner. Like, we go together. Now, I was like, I'm gonna take a nap, go to sleep. We are gonna go back down. We already coming back from 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 a from a gambling binge already. <laughs> now I go to sleep. This nigga left me, man. I'm like, man. <laughs> Left That's me cold. and he left me and came up. I'm like, oh man, because yo, when you got a gambling partner, you gonna roll with them. So if yeah. they got down, you gonna put money down. So I would at least have more chips than what I had. I'm like, this yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. You, you went to sleep, baby. He came you know back I mean? like he came back like, ah, and I'm faded. I'm finna go to sleep. I'm like, oh, man, I gotta go back by myself and fight the beast. All right, bro. Hold man. on, hold on, and then cold, Sammy. hold on, and then then real homies have moments like this. Yeah, but yo, hold on, and then. Um, what's my so you know it was the last day baby mama she's pregnant she just I had dissed her already not that I dissed her but I was on a heater mm -hmm. like yo you don't leave the you don't leave on a heater <laughs> and and she was pregnant so she couldn't really enjoy Vegas yeah, like she usually course. would and um <laughs> and she I was supposed to go to dinner with her that was like our thing all right yo you're gonna party you're gonna do whatever but you at least got to come to dinner with me yeah dude i'm up like 2500 on the thing right now you know what i'm saying you mind dinner. you mind you i went to vegas with only like 300 <laughs> <laughs> so i'm up up and then so i'm like yo I'm, baby i can't leave baby you know what i mean like yo i'm like yo you're gonna make me go to dinner by myself i can't leave on the heater oh <laughs> yeah, so, no so she goes to dog dinner. house she ends up guess, going to guess dinner. what she's just gonna leave <laughs> Yo, she ends up going to dinner by herself whatever i ended Asshole. up winning i ended up winning like four thousand almost five thousand okay. dollars so by the time i was like oh, okay i'm not yeah, that he bad had, anymore he had, he had he had to pay his way out the dog yeah, house. yeah i went yeah. I like, don't here, baby, here's home. half <laughs> yeah, yeah. something dude but then so so she dj'd the party um one of the parties we had we had a big suite up there dj the party then me and him, she went to sleep. All right, you go see them. Here, this one, we went to the craps. The he ended up leaving early. I went back. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. He loves going without me. Yo, Ooh. and then we whatever we wake up, we go to a pool party. She's trying to leave, go back home. Well, we're at the pool pool party with my boy, rest in peace, uh, Ricky C. Yeah. Um, what's the call? We're over there with them. I leave them and I go find a fucking. Uh, we're at the hardware. I go find a. Um, a uh, craft table. <laughs> <laughs> I almost thought you were gonna say a hooker. I was like, you, no. I know you did it. I know you did no. it. No, and dude, and I, and I start winning over there too, dude. Yeah. And it was just yeah. hard for them to get. Me. And then he's like, "Hey, dog, your girl, your girl's show. She's gonna fuck she's you up. We gotta home. go. She's in Barstow right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Crazy fuck stories, you in man. Vegas. I love that shit. Yo, your new album. 
Yeah. What's your favorite song on your new album and why? Uh, today. <laughs> my today, favorite. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, 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 yeah switches. Songs yeah, yeah. Like kids. Yeah. Today, I would say, um. Today, I would say. What do you think? I'm gonna tell you I would say about getaway. Get away. And I, it wasn't going to take me a lot. I just had to see what my vibe is. <laughs> I'll say get away. Uh, I got Buddy Jid and um, King oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, yeah. that shit hard. My favorite right now. Well, my favorite because it it really has so much significance in my life still. Mm-hmm. It's his church. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna uh, drink? She want to she wanna drink, I'm, do drugs, have sex tonight. But, but I, I got, got church, church in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> 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 so, wow, why yeah, you gotta man. blame her? <laughs> you know, most of the time it's me. I know. <laughs> yeah, most of the time but you me. do you do get up and go to church though. Yeah, it don't yeah, matter do, how I hard do. you go the night yeah, before. He never, <laughs> that's the whole thing. He never says that um he can't stay, he just say he gotta he get gotta, up. Yeah, he gotta he got he still gotta, gotta make it somehow. Money, yeah. No matter what, yo, oh she wanna drink, do drugs, have sex? Like we're not saying we're not gonna do it. <laughs> and we ain't saying, saying we is. We <laughs> just <laughs> saying whatever happens in between, I gotta go to church in the morning. That's it. That's it. What made you write that song? Because of that same reason we used to talk about. And two, <laughs> I like I like songs that says how we feel. And it's not the most obvious thing we would say. Yeah. Uh, so it speaks for you a little bit deeper. The more you hear it, you like, damn, like, damn, I really, you know what I'm saying? The the, the meaning and the love for it is a lot deeper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, dog, I'm telling you, when I first heard, when I first heard it, I think I went to the studio um, with you and then and I heard a little bit of it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. I just like, I had that laugh, like the evil laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that really song is for a laugh. certain pe- amount of people, a certain group, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was, I'm part of that group for sure. Yeah. What goes in your um, in your writing process? Um, Like we up here, we up here right now yeah. in Silver, like up in the hills, they're like a porn shoot up here. Yeah. And she's like, like, she's, she's like, yeah. I'm waiting for Jessica to take her <laughs> <your> clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romantic. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, romantic yeah. porn. They have romantic porn, but romantic they still end up being romantic. Scene. Let's go. <laughs> it starts there. Do, do you usually come to like places like this to just to get away and write? Uh, nah, man. Um, you know, we was talking about Kobe and the whole Grammy thing. Like every Grammys, I kind of like get a little place close to the city. I live kind of far out, so you know, just oh, so yeah, I can yeah. move around and not be stuck in traffic as much and just move around. You know. So I find a little honeycomb hideout every now and then. <laughs> this really is like a little honeycomb yeah. hideout. Yeah, for sure. You it's, know, just, it's just dope. Everybody know me, man. I stay low key, G. Yeah. It's the only way I move. Yeah. What's your relationships like right now? Um, uh, gangster status. <laughs> <laughs> you, you well, I don't know what, what that is, means. What is, you done for threesomes? You done for rape? You done for the <laughs> oh, shit? He said gangster. I'm like, said, so you're. I said rape. So I'm like, I got a couple ski masks. I can sneak in if she into that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got that. I, I'm into that. Whatever she want me to do, I can. I, 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 I can. You know what I'm saying? What's I craziest thing you done on, uh, on tour? Oh man. Um, <laughs> the craziest thing I've I'm done excited. on tour. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, <laughs> he like, yeah. I had to think. I knew it was gonna be good. No, nah, um, like we, like before I was even signed, um, we used to travel around with this certain R&B artist. He's still like big right now. I don't want to draw no attention to him because a lot of people's life has changed. My life has changed a lot too since then. But th- that's why I can say it because it's very old school. Gloria. But um, <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> but um, we was in some city, man, and um, we all like got, had got up with this group of girls, and um. They wanted to come back to our hotel with us, so we was like, "I right, bet." But the tour was so low budget; like we all were sharing the room. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, "You wanna know what, BJ? What's the illest thing you could do? The fastest thing you could do?" <laughs> I went in the closet. To watch? I didn't have to listen. No, not to watch. Me and her went in the closet. It was just fast. Boom. Some you old gotta school. Be, you gotta some old school. No, because I didn't have the key, so the first person went in, oh, went straight to the bathroom. Man. You know, you know, first person in the room got first deal yeah. if it's that type of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I was like, boom. I was like, look behind me. I was like, nah, man. The closet was huge. <laughs> like for, for for us to sleep in this room, the closet was huge. So we. Wait, got how many got? How many dudes? It was about three, four guys. <laughs> about three, four girls. Everybody was matched up, but it was it was comedy, bro. Because soon as I went in the closet. 
we just went at it and <laughs> she was with it so obviously and then he pushed her out the closet when no he was I definitely done. didn't I definitely didn't no, I definitely she didn't she falls out but hangers <laughs> hangers and everything was Somebody everywhere the, door. the pillows that be at the top was, uh, it was, I was I was the closet was terrible the closet was terrible uh, I would've that's, took the bed like y'all hey hey nah hey, hey, I'm, hey, a like hey, I'm a fat nigga how many bed. times can you go to a bed grab this pole with me <laughs> these fingers All right, I, I need so. some memories I need I'm, I'm a different I'm a different animal man yeah, so I'm sorry y'all got it I'm, 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 I'm a little more Next time I'm going to try the closet You got me so Yeah like <laughs> you, you have to be um, Very creative Who was the girl Who was you the girl You force yourself to um, be um, no. Hey, no 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 no, no. Don't do me Come on man I, <laughs> Come on man I can't go too deep man Come on I can't lose my spots Come on come on, come on. Like, No man. I'm talking about the, 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 the I know I know I know I know who you talking about That's why I don't even She should not be mentioned Name me no name Come on man Come on man Will it Will it Will it Will it What is Um What's the, the craziest thing you've seen on tour? Mm -hmm. um, a girl got my name tattooed on her before. Ooh. No I was like, wow, yeah. Damn. Yeah. She stalker style? Nah, she was like, was like, like, like a fan greet, fan. At the meet and greet, she was like, she was like with the Sharpie, sign my name, and I'm going to take it to the tattoo shop, and I'm going to actually dope. get through. So um, I was like, I don't believe you. Boom, boom, bam, bam. He so does it all boom. big on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I did it big on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> if you going to dare me, I'm going to dare you. Her ass cheek, where was it? It was on her arm, and she uh, came. She came back like three shows later, and she had the tattoo. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Just the way I did it too. The, yeah, the yeah, tattoo yeah. artist was amazing. Oh, look at a lot of people don't know this. Yo, I got myself. I got my own tattoo artist. I got my own signature tatted on me. Your baby. Own that's comedy. Signature? Yeah, yeah. Come In case on. you ever forget it. All we gotta do is um make Sammy pass out, then sign all kinds of checks. <laughs> 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 yep. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Shit. What's the craziest thing you ever seen? Ooh. Ooh, damn. Seen. I ain't say done yet. Oh, done, is right, yo. <laughs> done is next. Done is next. Done is next. Done is next. Craziest thing I've seen. What's the craziest thing you ever seen? Okay, I seen um this kid get killed in Why you gotta go there? Yeah, we, I damn. was talking man, I oh. thought he was talking like Yeah. That's true. We did say that, yeah. <laughs> no, but it was just weird. It was weird. I was a young cat. <laughs> I was in Juarez, Mexico. Oh shit. And what's my call? I was there for a basketball tournament. And you know what I'm saying? I thought, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, I was not that good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was out there. I don't believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And awesome. they, they beat up this dude right there. Like, yo, like, it was nothing. I was like, oh, shit. And mind you, I was not a party dude. I was still a church cat. Mm -hmm. But it was my first time going out with cats that um, partied. Mm -hmm. And so we, we told the. Um, we told the club owners that we were the national team <laughs> from USA, the USA national team <laughs> from Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Oh, my Nigga, God. You're what? So, Yo, we, so, so how did the guy get killed, man? Bro, they zoom, beat, they zoom, beat zoom, the zoom, shit zoom. out of him. So they they just brought so they literally like beat him to death. Yeah, they beat him to but death. But wait, they believe that you guys are the national Yeah, they did believe we were. And and yeah, we that's saw some crazy comedy. shit. That, that whole oh, weekend, I saw some crazy great. shit that I've never ever thought. I was like, "Yo, what the comedy. fuck?" Is that yeah. when the corruption started? So what's yeah? So what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Um, craziest thing I've ever. I can't say on tour, but like having fun. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Craziest thing that ever. you can't say. You oh, can. I don't care. You know, I'll say anything. I, I care. I can't say too much. <laughs> And I hope you guys care for me. I, I just played the game. Like, I told y'all a little bit. I, I think it was my well, younger days, though. Okay, this is the, the, the crazy thing that I, that I can say is, but it's not crazy. It's just kind of gross. But I didn't think it was gross. <laughs> oh, like, I, like you know, I was fucking this girl, and and we was all up in there, and 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 I was like, oh sh. And so I a little bit, and then I. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I come, We're listening. We're listening. Right. And then, go. and then, and yeah. then, I so go up in here, and then I start. But <laughs> uh, I started like licking my own. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. I can't is that gross? That was that. episode that... six of Booty and the Beast. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm out. I'm just... Whoa. I'm glad for that because now whatever I say ain't that bad. <laughs> Damn, it, you cleared the audience and everything, Sammy. Everybody. Our guests and the audience. Good going. Well, he's you started it. That was he just a shock it. factor. Hey man, shout out to my brother BJ the Chicago kid. Make sure you BJ guys like go. This, like, oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. BJ, <laughs> make sure y'all go yeah, to iTunes. Check out his music if you haven't checked it out. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? You will definitely make love to his music. 
No babies, though. Mm. Unless you're, yeah. you're married. Yeah. Do you like baby showers? <laughs> Do I like baby showers? Yeah. No. Uh, Why? You like baby showers? No, the showers of baby all over your face. Oh, that kind of baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, why would I want to go to a baby shower? <laughs> like, do they drink at baby showers? She's Duh. pregnant. Like, I want to go somewhere. She's... If I'm going to a party, I'm a drink. <laughs> oh, man. We I'm love not a fucking child. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all, man. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest mm. in peace, Gigi. And Rest in peace, families. all the other families that passed. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy week, man. I'm glad we were able to laugh a little bit on this uh, at the end of this because I needed that shit. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. Please uh, share, do whatever subscribe. you want to do. Subscribe, thumbs tell a up. friend, uh, shove a thumb up her um, butt. Thumb butt. Uh, <laughs> she likes it when you guys like say, "Oh my God, Ariel's so cool." Oh, why are you hating? He's such a <laughs> hater. Somebody commented on the last one, like Ariel's. I love her. And I was like, thank <laughs> because, you. Because thank you so much. And this time he's like, laugh out loud. All bitter. <laughs> because I know they don't love me. <laughs> People don't love you. me on the show. I they love, love you. you. Oh, that was cute. That's what matters. All right, man. Love y'all. <laughs>